Okay, what we're going to do here is set up Windows 10 on the uh, Raspberry Pi 2, which uh, we've got the instructions up there to do it. Um, the build conference today, and they just released the version of Windows 10 Internet of Things for the Raspberry Pi 2, which I have. Um, and I have downloaded the installer, and I am about to follow the instructions and stick it on the little Raspberry Pi 2. Okay, so what I'm gonna follow the instructions here, what I've got is a little uh, micro SD card reader. The Raspberry Pi runs its whole operating system off this micro SD card. I'll use the reader on this little machine here. Which I will have to plug in to the back because I've run out of USB ports. Now, as in, that's actually a, a Raspbian um, install on there. It was running the Linux, the Raspbian install. So, I'm just going to follow the instructions. Uh, so, Put the core inside a preview edition on the SD card, provided utility. So I have Windows 10 preview. Um, make a local copy. Open a command prompt, which I'll do. Oh, I want to move you. Okay, I need to have an administrator prompt. Actually, I wonder if I can right click there and open as administrator. Yes, I can. Yeah, screw your search. You'll take too long. Okay, so I have to run the, find the disk number the USD card is on. Uh, all right, this is going to find my SD card. There we go. Yeah, all right, so it's disk three. There we go. So using the administrator command prompt, apply the image to your SD card by running the following command. Okay, disk three is that's one, that's good. Make a local copy. Up I drive physical drive, yeah, okay, so D I S M dot X E. Oops. I'm assuming it's case sensitive. It'd be a lot easier if you could just copy it over. In fact, what? Yeah, alright. What's weird is it had an installer in there. I'm going to put it back in the folder. I 
wonder if I can just run the installer. Yeah, no, okay. Back to this. Prayer for you. Apply. Drive. If you haven't seen that build conference presentation on the Internet of Things, you should check it out. That's what got me, sparked my interest into putting this on. Oops, Drive 3. Because um, it looks really cool, all the stuff they're doing with the Internet of Things. And using a Raspberry Pi for input and output. Okay, skip that. Form. Um, check. And I'm going to double check that. So what I've got is just like they have here. DISM.exe apply image image file flash FFU apply drive and physical drive location. That should be good to go. I'm applying the image. So that's cool. We'll come back when that's done. Okay, so what we've got, I've just switched it over. And I shall plug in the Pi to its micro USB power supply. Please excuse the camera work. And that. I don't have a case for this thing, so it's looking a bit dodgy. I'll turn that on. That's just a phone power supply, which is all you need. And that should theoretically, oh yeah, boot up into Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi. I really do need to get a case for that. Okay, I forgot I just plugged in the network cable. That doesn't seem to be registering at all, but this graphic console started it. One dot on it. I don't know whether that's a status bar or not. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. I got the initial boot, it said it would go well to a blue screen a couple of times and then restart and just wait for a couple of minutes. I am now getting a light on the router there, so it is thinking. I can I have that light going on the network port, so that's doing something more than before, which is awesome. Okay, wow. I thought that that would actually... Um, Take a lot less time than I thought. I was just about to kind of harsh reboot it. I looked at the time there. That that sat on a black screen for like ten minutes, so that's ages. Uh, so now I don't know what happens, but um, that could be it. <laughs> Oh, it said something about the blue screen or check on those instructions. Alright, checking on the instructions again. It says Windows 10 IoT Core inside a preview will boot automatically. On the very first boot, it will do some first boot configurations and display a default boot colored application which I assume is that or it's happening wait for a few minutes and the board will automatically restart it'll happen once then the default app will come up so it took at least 10 minutes of black before it got there now it's waiting for more all right I waited for wow 25 minutes it just stuck on a screen it kind of went through one screen to another screen then it's stuck on this color bar display it was like a square with some colors on it and sat there for 25 minutes so i just 
Turn it off of the wall, turn it back on, and we shall see whether it boots up or not. Um, you can see there's something wacky with the... That's obviously a graphics glitch with that loading, waiting circle. Who knows what that is, but hopefully it boots up. I'm, when I had a network signal, what seemed to be, it was doing something for ages, and then it flicked through two screens from the blue screen back to the colored squares, and then stopped doing anything. I am, as you can see, getting a, some kind of network activity. So I'll run it again and see how we go. These are the coloured squares. We got various colours. I don't know whether the GoPro is picking up those colours on the screen, but it's stuck on there for 25 minutes and did nothing else. I'm restarting now. I do have network activity light. See if it decides to go further. Success. After the, that hard restart, she's booted up. So we've got Windows 10 Core inside a preview. So a nice time, 3.14. And, well, what am I gonna do here? I will go to the settings, I guess, if I can get a mouse to work. Yes, I have a mouse. Click on the settings, I'm sure I'll be able to change the time. It's really slow. Oh, there we go. Nice one. <laughs> I don't know whether it's underpowered or it's just the Windows thing. But, um, maybe Windows too heavy on it. I mean, it, this is a preferred device. So should run well. Uh, where are we? Let's just set the time. I don't know why. Guess it shows you it's doing something. Stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, bit of lag on that one. Yeah, it's quite a bit of lag on this mouse. What else we got up here, options wise? English United States, is it? How do I even commit that? I don't know whether this is sort of over on the screen, but I think the screen's got a bit of over scan or something. Oh, there we go. Time's right. Now I'll have to go to the forums and play.